Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, as I sing your word. You can't judge by your own standards. Now that is exactly what human nature is all about. We judge everything. You know, I could, we spend a good deal of time in, in Europe and uh, the United Kingdom, we're, we're here now, as a matter of fact. And I could, if you'll forgive me with my broadest sense of humor, tell you, these people over here talk funny. They do. They talk. They talk. When I go out, I most often, if I'm teaching around here, I have to start by saying, you, you people are going to have to bear with me and give me a little grace. You see, I don't speak English. I only speak American. I'm learning how to speak English. Because the vocabulary is different, the pronunciation is different, the phonics is different. Yes. Okay? But don't judge me based on that. Don't judge me based on the fact that you think I talk funny or I think they talk funny. If you're talking and it's not according to the Word of God, you talk ridiculous. Foolishness. It's foolishness. Don't judge by your own standards. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's taller than me is too tall. Everybody who's shorter than me is too short. Everybody, you know, you judge by your own standards. We cannot judge by our standards. We have to judge according to the Word of God. That's why we have to be retrained in our thinking. But that's why you have to be in the Word of God. You have to know what the Word of God says. Otherwise, you have no standard to judge by. That's right. None whatsoever. Okay. So, <laughs> just to recap, don't judge the outsiders, okay? Don't judge the world. The world, yes, they're all sinners. It doesn't matter what, what flavor sinner they are. Sin is sin. The wages of sin is death. Do you believe the Word of God? The person who robs 25 cents out of a, out of a corner grocery store, the wage of that sin is death person who goes out on the street and mass murders 15 people, the wages of that sin is death. Well, that doesn't sound fair to you. You know what? That's because you're not living according to the Word of God. It's not a matter of what's fair to you. It's a matter of what the Word of God proclaims. And the simple truth is the wages of sin is death. But thank God that our God, merciful that he is, has made a way of escape for us. That God the Father loved us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, into the world to bear the consequence of our sin on that cross. That's right. But the sin was paid for. The sin was punished. The sin, the consequence of your sin, was paid on that cross of Jesus uh, on Calvary, Golgotha, so many years ago. So, what are you supposed to judge? Well, the first thing you've got to judge is it says in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, let a man examine himself. Before you go there, okay. talking about judging the outsiders, like, and, that, and you're, you're saying is that you're judging whether or not they're going to hell. Well, you're just, even if you're judging the, what their, their behavior is wrong, I mean, of course it is. I mean, you know, but how is an unsaved person lacking the power of the Holy Spirit in his life how is he going to live everything right? Anything right? You know, we go. I'm, I I don't want to get. Yeah, you know, of course I'll get distracted. I said I did a teaching here in England just a couple of months ago, and I was talking about the fact that I think that most Christians are not seeing, not walking in, not living in the power of God. Right. And I said the reason is yes. because they're they're going over the speed limit on the M6 or the M60. What were you saying? Wait a minute, I don't kill anybody. No, but you, you were speeding on the, on the motorway, weren't you? You were speeding on the interstate, weren't you? Hello in Orlando, Florida. When was the last time you drove through the city, Orlando, on I-4 and did the speed limit? Because it says the Word of God commands, this is not a suggestion, commands that we be submissive to governing authorities. When you are disobedient to that speed limit, you are breaking the law. You have become tolerant of these sins in your life mm. because everybody's doing it. Do not follow a multitude into doing evil. 
There's no justification for sin. What happens is we start to make excuses for sin. And that's how we can tolerate it. Because there was a good reason for the sin. And excuses are, if you haven't heard me say this before, please hear it this time. Excuses are the fiery arrows shot from the pits of hell to kill repentance. As long as you can make an excuse, you'll fail to repent. And as long as you fail to repent, you are living with tolerated sin in your life. Only by grace can we enter. Only by grace.